just got done seeing Bridge of Spies. Well, I didn't just get done. I'm, this is the next morning. I'm on my way to work. It was a solid film by Steven Spielberg, who I wish would do bigger scope pictures again. This is the second movie in a row I went in fresh without seeing a trailer, not even a scent of a trailer. I had no idea what Bridge of Spies was about, and I have no uh, history background. I, I know nothing about history in America, let alone in Russia, so Bridge of Spies was a fresh tale for me. Uh, it takes place in the 1950s. It's uh, America and Soviet Russia are very much on the brink of nuclear war. Although there is some good supporting staff, this is really a Tom Hanks vehicle. Basically, he takes on a case he's not familiar with. He's defending a spy from Russia in America. So a lot of the rules don't apply and really there's a huge amount of judgment on behalf of everybody in America. They want this guy to fry. They want him to hang for what he's done. And uh, Donovan's very much playing the justice system card. You know, he says the only thing that separates Americans from anybody else is the law. It's our constitution. Mark Rylis says Rudolph Abel gives a very understated performance here. It kind of smells of Oscar bait. I, I don't know if he's going to get that, though. There's a lot of good contenders coming out this year. Man, what did I just run over? This the loudest railroad tracks on the planet. It does a very good job. I don't know if it's anything that, you know, I didn't stop watching the movie and think, wow, what a terrific performance, but you never know with the Oscar crap that goes around who's going to get nominated. I'm still pissed that Jake Gyllenhaal didn't get nominated for Nightcrawler last year. I'm still butthurt about that. Or Lego Movie. Where, where was Lego Movie? I haven't seen a Steven Spielberg film in a long time, and it was very refreshing to see again. He just has that old school uh, film approach to it. Everything's so cinematic without being just in your face. The, everything from the rain and the set pieces in the city, it just all has this kind of surreal yet brilliant uh, feel to it. I don't know if that description makes any sense at all or if it even makes sense to me, but that's what I'm going with, so just let's just roll with it. Is it Saving Private Ryan? No. Is it Schindler's List? Not even close. This story's just not that scale, it's not that scope. This is a very, you know, it's still a very uh, impactful and important story, but it's not something that, uh, like I said at the intro of this uh, video, I just, Spielberg is just so good and so competent and confident as a director. I want him to stick with these bigger, grander things. I'm very excited for Ready Player One. This very well could have been handled by Ben Affleck, who's proven that he knows what he's doing behind the lens. Uh, this reminded me of Argo a lot. There was a lot of funny moments that I wasn't expecting. There's a reoccurring joke, kind of like how Argo had Argo fuck yourself. This has something kind of on those lines, not as crass, of course. This is a Disney PG-13 vehicle. Just as entertaining though. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed myself though. It runs a bit long. It's two hours and 15 minutes or something like that. I think it easily could have been two hours. There's some subplots early on that don't get resolved. I mean, they're not really open-ended, I guess, but there's just characters that are introduced early in the game that you never see again. And it's just kind of puzzling. It's like, okay, here's this kind of sidekick in the picture, and then he's just gone for the last hour and 15 minutes. You don't ever see him again. Not even a, not even a picture in a picture frame. So there's definitely some loose change that I don't know if it got cut on the, on the floor room or in the editing room, or if it's just, that's just the story and that's it. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. There's some weird dude looking at me because I'm at the gas station talking to a camera, and uh, yeah. Score time, 8 out of 10. Seems seems appropriate for this one. Nothing really bad to say. It's just not the hard-hitting, kind of exciting story I expect from Steven Spielberg or just in movies in general. It's it's very well done. It's competent. But now there's another sketchy dude walking up to me. This this what is happening here? All right, I'm gonna talk to you later.